Hey guys, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So today we'll do a general collective reading. This this is not a you know day specific or a date specific reading. This might resonate whenever you come across this video or whenever you are meant to know these messages. It's just energy and not gender specific. Please flip the roles if that's how it's resonating with your own situation. But please don't don't make it fit your own story because this will not resonate with everybody. <clears throat> as soon as I sat down to do this reading, all the dogs in the background they started, you know, whining and making all that noise. <clears throat> howling and everything right guys sorry about my throat also <clears throat> all right so let's just jump right in this is going to be a short video i don't want to extend it more than 20 minutes so let's see we'll get one card from the akashic records let's see what is this all about what is what is happening what does the collective needs to know what is it all about right now? One card. <clears throat> okay, so Hilarion in the reverse. Hmm. Number five. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Oracle of Delphi. So I believe here there's somebody. This could be you, this could be a person around you, somebody's, somebody whose energy is very strong around you at this time. You intuitively know that this person is thinking about you. <clears throat> so it feels like this person, they don't want to waste any more time just thinking about things, right? Perhaps they have been <clears throat> very nostalgic about you, about the time spent with you in the past. Perhaps they have been looking at you from afar for a very long time now, I'm getting. And it's like ghosts of the past, they have learned a lot of things, right? But it's like they don't want to keep wasting their time anymore. <clears throat> because with the number five here, the more they wait, the more you know, the more difficult it's getting for them. And this person is definitely watching you from afar. There's, it's like reignition of, of a burning flame in their heart, right? And you just see how this woman, she's sitting on a tall chair here. So it, it looks like that they have put you in on some kind of a pedestal here if you are a feminine right you you're doing your own thing perhaps you're not even looking at this person you are doing your own thing <clears throat> right whatever but this person is certainly in the background you don't know like logically physically you don't know that this person is around you but they are definitely looking at you from afar trying to study trying to understand what is going on with you right yeah, so let's see. What are these supporting energies? <clears throat> let's see. What are these supporting energies at this time? Two cards, please. What is going on? What does the collective needs to know? Oh, Lord, no. This is a twin flame, guys. <laughs> wow, this is a twin flame. Two of cups. This person, <clears throat> they are, it's like they are intertwined with your energy right now. Perhaps you are feeling this person's energy very strongly, right? You could be feeling confused as to why is this person again, you know, he's coming back or she's coming back in my energy. Why is this person around me again, right? Because it's like they are intertwined with your energy, right? Wow, tooth cups. <clears throat> so in this deck, this is a twin flame card for me. Just see, what did I say? Knight of Wands. And this is a very fast moving energy, guys. This person wants to prove themselves right they're, they're ready to <clears throat> it's like they're ready to jump this circle of fire 
perhaps this is a test that they, they are now about to give. Perhaps the divine is testing them in some way. But whatever this is, this is a very fast moving energy. As I, as I said, this person, <clears throat> they don't want to waste any more time. They have been thinking about this for the longest of times. Not anymore. And it, it's like, <clears throat> let's get another card for this two of cups here. Wow, my throat is really itchy right now for some reason. <clears throat> it wasn't like this before. I mean, I do have some throat issues, but it wasn't this itchy. And now suddenly it's just flaring up. Let's see, why is the Two of Cups here, please? One card for the Two of Cups. What's happening here with the Two of Cups here? Uh, three of Swords. Wow, this person could be crying. This person is crying. Devil, wow. So they are crying because they perhaps they chose a third party here. Right, and with the devil here, they really got messed up. They they just got stuck in this devilish karmic codependent energy. <clears throat> just look at that. We have the star at the bottom. So now is the time for this masculine to heal. This is a masculine figure <clears throat> sitting in the Thaj Mahal. Right, and the star here, Aquarius energy, is a card of masculine healing. Hmm. Um, there could be an Aries or a Capricorn, or perhaps an Aries and oh, sorry, Aquarius involved. <clears throat> Right, guys. So yeah, this person is really heartbroken. It's like just look at these arrows in this rose-shaped heart. And this this person is crying tears of blood. There's a lot of pain around this karmic situation, right? Because there's very heavy and sin like severe download realization that they have that they chose the wrong path very challenging and they don't want to waste any more time <clears throat> okay so i'm also getting something about cherries right so this person when they went into this karmic relationship they thought that you know <clears throat> it's it's going to be something very healthy. Perhaps they were lured in by things that that were you know very shiny and bright, very materialistic, very superficial, basically. But once they got into this connection, they realized that it was really a trap, and it they they're finding it really hard to come out of it now because of all these spider webs here. <clears throat> right they they could be dealing with a woman who has really long black hair i don't know right see because this person could also have long black hair this knight of wands also has long black hair so perhaps your person they have long black hair or perhaps they're dealing with somebody who have long black hair but whatever this is they don't want to waste any more time <clears throat> let's see okay so what is the collective needs to know please what is going on here what is the collective needs to know please the chariot cancer energy yes so now this person's mind and heart are aligned they are coming forward they could be traveling towards you very soon in the course of next week perhaps <clears throat> let's see yeah so this is again the yin and yang this is a twin flame guys very strongly that's coming up <clears throat> let's see what else some of you, you could be menstruating next week when this person is coming towards you, 
right? So yeah, something about your fertility, your 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 monthly cycle, perhaps. I don't know. Let's see. That's for some of you. Okay. What else, please? What is happening in this reading? What does the collective needs to know? We have um, two major arcanas as of now. <clears throat> what is happening here, please? Thank you. Look at this, guys. My God, the lovers. Again, this is a twin flame. Very, very strongly this is coming up. Gemini energy. The masculine here again getting burned, burning. Do you see how this masculine's hand is on his chest? So heavy realization when it comes to their heart chakra, their feelings, where their love is, right? The female seems a little bit distressed for some reason. She's looking like she's looking towards this angel here so whatever is happening <clears throat> if this is a reunion if this is this person coming towards you this is divinely guided and this is perhaps the right time to be uh, like whatever um i'm also seeing a snake behind the feminine so perhaps the feminine here whoever the uh, the divine feminine is <clears throat> perhaps um, like she she was getting tempted to go towards other things, right? Or other people, perhaps these people had some toxic behaviors or karmic patterns, right? So perhaps because this, this masculine here was, you know, choosing a third party, was getting entangled into the devil energy. <clears throat> <clears throat> Just look at my throat, guys. Wow. This person is burning to speak with you right now. They're really anxious and very, very impatient to be doing so. But, you know, they're having a hard time, um, like, picking the words, what to say to you. But they really want to talk to you here. So, yeah, so I'm, that's what I'm getting here. Seven, six, five. Look at that. It's a countdown. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. So the feminine must must have gotten really tempted to go towards other people, karmic people. Right? So yeah, because this is talking about temptation. <clears throat> Perhaps she learned her lesson and now she is looking towards this angel here. Perhaps she's surrendering. She's not concerned about whatever is happening here. She's just surrendering to the divine. The masculine definitely got burned here, right? And with the hand over his heart, I'm, I'm getting that there, there's a very strong realization when it comes to his feelings. He is realizing that his heart has always belonged to his divine feminine here. <clears throat> wow, my throat. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What else, please? What else? What does the collective needs to know? Yep, Seven of Cups. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, guys. Really annoying. So this person is about to reach out to you, right? You could be having dreams of this person, this, this masculine, about to reach out to you. You could be having dreams, perhaps intuitively, or through your dreams, <clears throat> you might know that this person is about to reach out to you. And there could still be something in the way that's toxic. Perhaps that, that whatever this toxic thing is or this person is, perhaps they are still trying to stop this person to come towards you in some way. <clears throat> but, I, but I just get that this person is really greedy, really impatient to just reach out to you now. Right? They will be doing that very soon. <clears throat> Something about a dream as well. So let's see. Six of Swords, yeah. <clears throat> so this is talking about having mental clarity, traveling towards you. 
wanting to spend some alone time with you, have some privacy with you so that they can speak their heart out, so that they can bring some positive change with the use of their positive words. <clears throat> you could be a single mother or a single father, I don't know. You, you could have a child here, right? So perhaps this person really wants to spend some time with you and your child but whatever this is this is a very fast moving energy they could be traveling very soon in the course of next week is what i'm getting here and this is a countdown hmm. let's see what else please <clears throat> anything else that the collective needs to know in this reading Six of Cups, yeah. So this person is definitely missing you a lot. They are reminiscing on the past um, time spent with you. They are feeling, they're basically feeling a soul connection here. <clears throat> if this is not a twin flame, this could also be a very strong soulmate. You've had past lives with this person here, at least six past lives, if not more. Right, you've had past lives with this person here. Six or seven, I don't know. At least six or seven past lives you've had with this person is what I'm getting. But this person misses you <clears throat> very, very much. And that is why their energy is very strongly around you at this time. Six of Wands. Yeah, so see? Within the course of next week, within the next six days, this person could be very well coming towards you. Six, 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 six. Look at that. So <clears throat> double six, double six for me is talking about keeping yourself balanced, restricting yourself from overindulging, getting tempted over things, right? So you, you really need to put, like, keep a check <clears throat> because whatever is happening here, th this might be very tempting for you, okay? So you do not want to go back to those times where perhaps this person was not equally giving to you. <clears throat> there was not an equal give and take. You were the one putting in more effort all the time, right? So it's like belittling yourself. <clears throat> so you don't want to do that. That's again a very karmic toxic pattern. You don't you don't want to get indulged in that cycle again. So just keep a check, guys. Okay, this could be very tempting. <clears throat> Oh my god, my throat is killing me. All right. Anything else, please? Let's get two more cards here. Wow, we have the Hermit. So yes, there's, again, there's a very heavy and severe download. This person has understood a lot of things about you, about this connection. Perhaps they have tried finding someone like you and other people. It's not working. This person is very isolated right now. Or perhaps when they try and reach out to you, they're going to be very isolated at that time. Perhaps they are choosing not to deal with other people when they're going to be reaching out to you. <clears throat> but yes, this person has grown. They have matured whatever happened with this karmic partner here, right? They have matured from that pain, that heart heartache. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Yes, very impatient now. This person is very impatient. They don't want to waste any more time at all. <clears throat> okay, let's get four more cards very quickly. Anything else, please? Two of Wands, wow, choosing because their world is literally revolving around you at this time. So this person is choosing you, the Queen of Cups. See, that is why the Queen of Cups is very intuitive, but this Queen here, she's holding back her cup. She's not ready to give her cup to just anyone. 
<clears throat> so this time around, this person will really have to win your heart in order for you to give this love to them, this cup to them, right? So the Queen of Cups, very intuitive, very sweet and nurturing, very motherly, <clears throat> but definitely very intuitive. She She's very balanced emotionally. She's like a master when it comes to her emotions, right? She She's not over giving. She's not getting involved with somebody emotionally very quickly. So yeah, this is a very, <clears throat> this is a divine feminine basically. So this person is choosing you, the fool. Um, perhaps they're leaving behind this karmic person here and choosing you, ready to take a leap of faith, right there's a lot of clarity sun is shining on this person with a white dog here they're feeling very loyal towards you they want to make peace <clears throat> wanting to take risks right wanting to start afresh wanting to go on this new journey with you just forget what happened in the past let's begin a f like just start something let's start afresh right one more card <clears throat> yeah. So after a lot of delay, this person is going to be coming in very soon. Mm. Yeah, see? So the this page of pentacles in the reverse is talking about delays and now just contradictory to that is the eight of wands. Very fast moving energy. This could happen... Like for some of you, this could happen this weekend itself within the next two days. For some of you, it might happen next week within the course of next eight days. But this is coming in very soon, guys. Very, very soon. This person is not going to waste any more time. Two of cups again, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> this, is, this is a twin flame for most of you. And even a strong soulmate for some of you. But definitely, you are going to come face to face with this person. This this person has a very strong realization that they are in love with you. They were always actually in love with you. But it's just that they got blinded by the shiny, you know, and bright, <clears throat> superficial, materialistic things in between. So yeah, that's what happened with them. <clears throat> they're very regretful, they're very isolated, not anymore, they're coming in r really strongly, very, 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 very soon is what I'm getting here. All right, let's get three messages for this reading. <clears throat> Sometimes the good is hidden, okay, so perhaps you had no idea that this person was going to come back to you, right, you just thought that it's over. <clears throat> but the good part was still hidden. and perhaps now you will be able to see what happened really back then and now what's about to happen, right? You've got time. <clears throat> oh my God, my throat. Okay, one last card. It's not as if you need anyone, so yes you are see i told you you're not even looking at this person you're doing your own thing you're shining bright right <clears throat> just very happy on your own very independent you know there's a lot of self-love self-healing that have taken place in you and you're doing wonderful hee-haw that's what that is what is making this person come towards you now something about a black hole i don't know <clears throat> so yeah it's like just how the black hole sucks everything in this person is now getting sucked towards you they can't help it's, it's like magnetic it's a pull that they feel they can't help it they will be coming in very soon guys <clears throat> okay let's get one card as your guidance anything any guidance for my collective then we'll end this reading one card as a guidance for my viewer, for my collective, please. <clears throat> All right, so we have the emperor, but this is the manipulative emperor. Okay, guys. 
This person definitely wants to have an opportunity with you, but be mindful. This person still could be coming in with some kind of a manipulation towards you. Perhaps, you know, it's like an exchange. You give me attention, you do all the work, in return I'll give you something, right? I'll, I'll show you that I love you or I'll show you that I do care about you. So it's, you know, but if this is a masculine, the masculine needs to put, put in more effort and energy, okay? So yeah, with the Queen of Cups there, <clears throat> don't give your cup of love to this person that easily. Just hold back. Be very patient. Don't get in, impatient because this might be very tempting for you. Don't get impatient, okay? Let this person prove themselves to you, right? And see if they are consistent. Don't over um, express yourself. Don't give too much. <clears throat> if this person is giving you like, you know, three, like, if they're giving you three times, like if there are three texts, you, you can text them once or twice. But it should not be more than that. That's just an example, okay? Because this, this emperor here is still a little bit... Just see how this, this person also has long hair. <clears throat> Either you or this person, some somebody in this connection has really long hair. Dark, like this could be brown or black hair. So I don't know. But yes, this person could be manipulating if, if they do come because the emperor takes action, right? They take the leadership. So this person definitely is coming towards you. But, you know, something about manipulation. <clears throat> they don't want to give, give their power to you just like that. So yeah, be mindful of that. Okay, guys. Okay, so this was our reading. I hope it resonated and helped you in some way. Much love and light. Take care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.